Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be sharing why a tech lead role is becoming a really important role due to AI, and also what particular skills you should focus on in order to do well on the role. If you don't know me yet, my name is Gregor and I'm the founder of Engineering Leadership Newsletter. And yeah, let's get straight into today's topic. Okay, let's talk about what actually the main reason is for a tech lead being, uh, you know, one of the most important roles in, in do it to AI, right? And the main reason for this is that tech lead is a great combination of understanding the technical details and also having good people skills. That is, that is very important in, in gen, AI, gen AI because uh, you know, human related skills are something that is not possible to replicate. It's not something that you can replace, uh, you know, by any machine at current times. And it's going to take, you know, for foreseeable future until, you know, things are going to get even close to, uh, to you know, to, to us humans are capable of, uh, you know, things like in leadership, things like empathy, things like critical thinking, things like also pragmatism. Uh, and, and stuff like that. Those are very important things. And also, being a tech lead, uh, you need to be good at managing expectations, communication in general. You need to be good at uh, being a team player. You need to be good at uh, you know preparing, preparing uh, and dissecting projects to ensure that uh, you know teams, people, and teams are going to be successfully be able to deliver them as well. Uh, of course, managing expectations is very important because you know you can do the best work in the world, but if the expectations will not be managed correctly, unfortunately, it won't be perceived that way. So that, that, that is the main reason why, you know, the tech lead role is one of the most and most kind of like a well, well positioned role in order to do well as much as possible in, in Gen AI. And also, you know, we should not neglect the technical skills that that is very important as well but let's 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 see what is the difference between let's say a software engineer and uh, a tech lead se uh, senior plus that is like a, a staff software engineer or principal or principal software engineer right you can see how big of a difference it is to um, to, to the role right and for example a normal software engineer is going to do majority of their time coding right uh, a little bit of their time doing code reviews and meetings uh, but then a tech lead or a senior plus engineer is majority of their time going to spend on how can they make others around them better? How can they ensure that the project is going to be successful? How can they ensure that, you know, the code that is actually being uh, going to get merged is, is going to be uh, the right piece of code, is going to work correctly, and so on. So a lot of the work is associated with... Uh, how, how, how can we deliver projects successfully, you know, architecture, technical specifications, uh, planning. Uh, we mentioned code use and of course coaching and mentoring is very important. As a tech lead, uh, it's really crucial to, to do that well. And, you know, tho those are the, sk the skills that are really, uh, really going to be crucial because, you know, we mentioned this in one of the previous videos is that the speed of writing code has never been an issue, right? The biggest issues has always been, you know, communication, uh, you know, processes, planning. There's too much, too much overhead in in, in processes, and um, you know, if if you, if you if you are the person who can make uh, things a lot more efficient uh, for for everyone, it's going to be, uh, you know, you're you're going to be very successful uh, these days and also in the upcoming. Uh, upcoming years as well so yeah it's a really big of a difference between a software engineer and a tech lead senior plus engineer uh, it's a totally different role i would say but yeah the more time goes on the less important is is going to be just pure coding skills but a lot more important are going to be uh you know how well how well you communicate how how well your leadership is in general uh you know the su successful success of the projects and also, you know, uh, making others around you better and so on. As things are becoming, you know, as tools are getting better and better, uh, the things that are going to make the, the real difference are, are the human related skills and overall problem solving skills. So, yeah, we mentioned a bit about uh, how being, uh, you know, very, very important, not just, uh, you know, uh, 
not just knowing uh, what, what what we need to build, why we need it, and also when when should we build. But especially, you know, a lot of companies these days are focusing on building any kind of AI features, any kind of AI products. And you know, with this products and these features, know, knowing and understanding the how is is crucial. It can be the difference between. Um, building a certain feature in three days or in 300 days that that big of a difference it is like for example if you're building a simple ai product and you're thinking that you you might need to you might need to build foundational model yourself you 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 may you may get a uh, you may get a uh, maybe series a uh, funding and then you're gonna hire uh, data scientists ml engineers to actually start working on this foundational model, but at the end of the day, um, what you could do is you can just call the OpenAI's API and you will get the, the results that you need in order to launch your MVP, right? That That's what, what you need to do, because, but the reason is the problem comes because that, for example, that non-technical founder do not understand the technical you know difficulties you need to go through in order to, to, to build something, right? And if you understand the how, it's going to be a big difference, you know, uh, on the way you you you're working on planning this AI features, AI AI products, and we all know a lot of companies these days are working on them. So if you don't understand the how, that that is when you normally like ship more generic features. You know, they're expensive to run, easy to copy, and also hard to trust as well. That is very important to keep in mind because we see a lot of companies these days. You know, a lot of individuals as well trying to do some sort of like a wipe coding and build uh, you know certain certain products certain certain features and they believe that that that's it that that's how easy it is right by the end of the day those those products those features are not going to scale they're not they don't understand the architecture and system design behind it uh, you know as soon as they get more users everything is going to crash and also, you know, the purple color, color is very common uh, if you're building any kind of AI products. You know, it's it's very generic. It's not going to be uh, unique to 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 what uh, you know what what the branding is for that company, uh, and so on. And also, you know, hard to trust security is a big problem if you don't understand uh, how how to do certain things, what technical aspects you need to you need to focus on, and so on. So yeah, understanding is. The how is, is really, really crucial in, in current times, especially when you're building AI features or AI products. And also, this is very important to, to keep in mind. This is from uh, Migdat uh, Jaffer, OpenAI's product lead. We recently did uh, a collaboration on, on, on my newsletter. And yeah, he mentioned that, you know, for every engineer, it's time you develop the strategic skills so you can answer the what, when, and also the why to build so you can lead the whole ecosystem. So he's a big advocate for engineers uh, also owning the why, what, and when, not only the how. So that that is also one of the uh, important things that um, my, the message I want to get across to all the engineers is to learn, you know, business skills, product product skills, be, be curious about, uh, you know, the pain points and problems that the business is facing. And then you actively seek on proposing the right solutions to this to this particular challenge or these particular problems and um, yeah uh, what, is, what is really important to note that uh, you know as part of uh, wha what I'm doing with, with the newsletter and also as a fractional CTO and also coach and consultant and advisor um, I get to speak and I get to talk with many engineering leaders engineers and also company leaders across the industry and what I'm continuously hearing is that um, more and more startups are actually having, uh, you know, engineers be owning also the what, why, and when in startups. Uh, not only, you know, how, how to build it and actually building it, but, you know, owning the full, uh, full, um, full cycle, right? So, for example, a good example is uh, Lovable, right? One of the fastest growing startups in, in Europe. Uh, they don't hire, if you check their careers page, they don't hire any uh, product product managers. They expect their engineers to be, you know, a mix of product managers and also, you know, engineers, right? So product engineer is, is becoming a really uh, important role, in especially in startups. And I'm hearing this in, in, in among different startups as well. 
uh, ironic thing is that you know Lovable is building a, 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 a software that is more for non-technical people, but they hire basically um, only more technical people to work on their on their products, right? And they expect them to be uh, more uh, more um, more into you know what to build, when to build it as well, uh, and so on, and also why why we should build build that as well. So yeah, that's very important uh, to keep in mind. And um, yeah, two very important focus areas in Gen AI for, for engineers. I mentioned this before, uh, human-related skills and being good at solving problems. Those two things are crucial at current times. And, and as you mentioned, right, uh, it's, it's great that engineers are, are curious about, you know, the what, when, why, and also the how part. And that is all connected here. Uh, you know, good leadership, teamwork, good communi communication, being a great person to work with, empathy and overall emotional intelligence. And also, you know, being good at solving problems, being pragmatic, being resourceful. You have a network of people you can talk to whenever whenever uh, there's a certain issue that you get across. Uh, obviously, you know how to utilize different tools, also AI tools as well. Business understanding, having, having also a deep understanding of a relevant topic, that is going to be a big differentiator in the upcoming years as well, because more and more engineers coming to the industry has have uh, more and more shallow knowledge of relevant topics and uh, you as a you know engineer who, who have a deep understanding of a certain topic is going to be a big advantage for you so that that is very important to keep in mind so yeah uh, why am I telling all of this uh, we're getting the uh, back to to the tech lead part which is yes those are the exact skills that you develop in a tech lead role and as you mentioned before more and more startups more and more companies are, are looking for for more kind of a tech leads kind of a type of an engineers right good communicators uh, people skills um, and less and less important are just pure coding and, and technical abilities obviously they are really really important in order to especially building ai features ai products you need to understand uh, the how part really really good to understand the constraints understand the problems but then at the same time also focusing on on good people skills business understanding product understanding though those are going to be uh, more and more important uh, and um, yeah and also you know if, if you're a manager if you're a middle manager uh, you know make sure that you also stay technical that, that that is my advice and if you're an engineer make sure to develop those good people skills uh, you know managing stakeholders communication uh, leadership skills teamwork in general being a great person to work with those are going to be uh, more more and more important uh, things as as time time goes on i hope this this video was uh, helpful to you um yeah if you like to learn more make sure to subscribe to my newsletter it's called engineering leadership uh, there are more than 165,000 people already reading it and i publish two new articles every week that's it for today uh, thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you on the next one